Welcome to other levels. We would like to welcome the members and tell them that we would like to give you some tips and tricks for what has been done in this dashboard. Let's explain together how we did the tune in before exit. What are the steps that were taken to get the number of years that the employee served in the company before leaving the company using the formulas? Let me first unhide. I want to tell you that there are three important columns that I hide in the data table. And these are the formulas. The first column contains the tune in years. In the tune in years column, we put an equation. The equation simply tells us that if the column status is written as exited, it will give me date if, join date, exit date, and y. This gives me the number of years from join date to exit date in numbers, and this is how I get tune in years. Let's go to the pivot tables. I'm going to create a new pivot table and put the tune in years column in the rows, and also put the tune in years count in the values. And don't forget to put the status in the filter and choose exited. Now I have a pivot table ready. From the insert menu and click on the 3D column, I choose a column chart that shows me the number of years, whether it is less than one year, one year, two years, or three years for each employee. And this is the number of employees in the column chart. We can also calculate the average tenure of all exited employees. This is extremely important to understand how long on average, your employees stay at the company before they leave. To do that, we'll create another pivot table. Add the tenure years column to the values field. Change the summary calculation from count to average. You will now see a number like 1.7, which means that on average, employees stay one year and seven months before leaving. This metric can be very helpful for HR teams to assess employee retention and take proactive action to reduce turnover. The second thing I want to explain is the two line charts in the dashboard that say new hires versus exits over time. How do we make the line chart so clear that it only shows the month and year? If we use the join date, the chart will look like this. The year is written below and above the month, and so on. It doesn't look good, so how do we make it clear and easy to read? We will add a new column to the data table and call it hire month, and another column will be exit month. In hire month, we will write the following text. Join date, YYYY, MM, this will give us the format of hire month in the form of year and month. The same is true for exit month. Now we are ready. Create a new pivot table, add hire month, to both the rows and values fields. Then insert a line chart. As you can see, the timeline now appears in a clear and readable month-year format, making it easy to analyze hiring trends over time. In order to preserve the beauty of the dashboard and the data table, we prefer to select the three columns that have formulas and hide them. They don't need to appear in the dashboard. If you want to make an update, you can do it in these columns, without having to worry about the formulas being erased or changed. This will affect the result and the accuracy of the data in the dashboard. Don't forget to hide the sheet tabs in the formula bar, so that the dashboard looks nice and clean. We also have hyperlinks icons, so that we can easily move between the pivot table and the dashboard using these buttons. But we can keep the dashboard clean and full widescreen. This was the last thing. I hope to see you in the next videos. There are trips and clicks for the members only. Stay tuned for more videos every week. Don't forget to download our templates from other-levels.com. See you in the next video.